Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we have a subscriber package here on the made up table here which is actually my well, it's kind of a KVM monitor system in here and that turns out to be important in just a little bit um, I really love getting packages I really love it when you guys out there watching my videos uh, like what I do enough to uh, actually spend money on sending me stuff and that also goes with this package here but well once in a while I get something that well, okay I didn't really need that but we're gonna make a video anyway so um, I got this package and I have been through my comments to find out who sent it and I can't find you anywhere I'm sorry I am sure you commented in two different videos about sending this but I must admit I get a lot of comments um, so thank you very much um, you're from the Netherlands so much I know and you spent 22 euros sending this to me so thank you very much um, let's go into the box and see what this is so we can get this video rolling so I do like getting packages and this is the address the address is also available under the about tab here on YouTube and there is also a FAQ frequently asked questions where there is also instructions in if you want to send me something as well I am uh, Morten Jort and it's to be sent to St. Paul's Gade 42A and that is 8000 Aarhus C for the center of the city and Denmark so yeah that out of the way so in the box in the box in the box in the box we find a piece of cardboard, uh, not well, fire thing, and we have a box here, and it says it says Hewlett Packard. So let's take that out. Oops. Let's put that there. Also comes with some cables, and there are some brackets for mounting it. Okay, this is embarrassing. In the bottom of the of the box, there's a letter, and this is from. Robin, R-O-B-B-I-N and he writes, Hey Morten, I hope you can put this thing to good use. It isn't your favorite brand, unfortunately, but if you can get it to work, it will come in handy. Oh yeah, it doesn't work yet. I have opened it up and confirmed that the 5-wall PSU inside is broken. It powers up using the 5-wall of a computer though. I hope you have a fun playing using this thing. Thanks a lot for all the content and great spirit. Merry Christmas from Robert. 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 Uh, sorry if I'm butchering that. I must admit, uh, this is of course a KM switch. Uh, you, you put it in your rack and you connect different servers to it through those cables. And I would like to show you something funny here. Here is another one just like it which um, I haven't bothered to close if we turn them around uh, do we see something similar I already had one of these and the power supply is also broken in this one so same error they have a bad power supply in, in those I have no idea what I've been messing with here not related so in this instance I I know exactly what this is um, and I have had this in use actually not this I am um, this is this is not made by Hewlett Packard and it's not made by IBM but I actually have an IBM one somewhere and I've been searching for it and I can't find it anywhere but yeah um, I didn't take it down because of the power supply I'm sure I could have found a new power supply for it and, and put that in. I took it down because I didn't need it really. Uh, all of these cables going out from here and to the servers in my rack, behind my servers where there is no room whatsoever, uh, was one hell of a drag. Uh, but this is a quite a, it's, it's a cool unit when it runs. Uh, we should just talk about what it can do. So on the back of this we have a power in. Uh, it doesn't take a lot of power. It says that it uses 0.5 amps, approximately under 100 watts. We can power it on, we can power it off. 
we have a serial connection. I've never used that for anything. Um, I guess it's for firmware updating if you want to do that, if there is something cool available. Uh, then we have a screen output and another screen output and this uses old PS2 connections and a VGA connection. Then there is this port here. Uh, never used that for anything. I think that's a remote screen of some kind. I am not sure. Never used that. Usually I have used this one. But then we have these 16 ports over here. The cables that Robin sent me here, they are meant, you can see that it has an RJ45 connector. So you use a regular network cable to go from here and into here. And then you put these two connections in your server and you have a um, KVM switch. And when you connect something here, you can use the keyboard like this stand that I have here and you can um, you can switch between different computers in your data center every uh, server or oh, server yeah every server that has one of these connections and goes into the KVM switch you can switch between those but uh, there is 16 connections here but you can actually plug in a lot more than 16 connections I have a whole box of these uh, connectors for those switches so here I have another cable and this is from um, this is IBM's branded one here and this can daisy chain so you can put in one connection here that that goes to um, well to a port here let's take port one here and then you can pop in the next connector here that goes to the next server so you can I think you can connect up to 16 servers this way you can do some more because of of this daisy changing thing so you can more or less you can I think I have done it with a whole rack just starting at the top and then just daisy changing these down um, I think it was 16 uh, and these are available different connections in the other end this one is also VGA and a USB port but also connections with the connections are available this one is from I have no idea where this came from. Smarter than, than many systems. These are the two connections that goes into the server. Then you have this box hanging around somewhere and going into the KVM switch. What will happen is on the monitor here, one of the buttons on your keyboard will activate the switching program. I believe it print screen or something. Would uh, If you press print screen, it will activate a menu and you could put in the names of your servers and you could go down and you can select the server and then you would the the screen of that server would pop up and you would um, be able to um, to control that server this is of course an older way of controlling your servers this was really good when servers did not have management ports boxes way smarter than that is available here is another one i believe it might be from kind of the same system um, this does kind of the same thing. You can um, you can connect this to a uh, to a computer or a KVM switch. And there are even two of them. And then on the front you get a uh, IP number. This makes it possible to control your um, server or KVM switch over the network. But this is kind of built into every server with a management port these days. And um, well, you could actually take the KVM switch here and instead of popping in a a monitor there you could just pop in here or maybe you could have you could have the monitor in the data center pop in one port and the other port could go up to to this remote access and you would kind of have a good remote access to your server um, I have actually been thinking about doing a video on this but I have actually also never had power on it so I have no idea what I'm into here. Uh, also uses five volts, so and it does actually have the power supply, so that's a good thing. Ten watts, yeah, that, that adds up. But before that, there were even older systems. I have an older KVM switch as well. This is from Compaq back when that was a thing before Compaq and Hewlett Packard merged. Um, Compaq did the cool stuff, the server stuff and Hewlett Packard, well, the, their server line were more or less crap before then. So here, this is an older system. Here you plug in your monitor 
and then you have um, eight ports out for eight different servers with a VGA connection and PC2 connections and then you brought a cable to each of those connections just directly have a cable here I don't think it's it's actually not for this box this is a little bit smarter you didn't have to bring those um, PC2 connections in there you could they were brought in this connector here but that was pretty normal you you just had cables going from the KVM switch into the servers but we are back in early 2000s here wonder if there's a date in the bottom that could be fun where are we time wise I don't really see any dates on this nah. I have had this for sale uh, here locally in Denmark for the longest time I think I went down to a hundred Danish crowns for it and uh, nobody wanted it so I took it off and it has actually just been sitting waiting for me to throw it out um, I'm gonna do that I am never gonna use that old technology again and neither should you so if you really have a server that doesn't have a management port yes this can be smart uh, if it works the cables for it they were bloody expensive uh, I bought a lot of these cables uh, we we got a new data center at work many years back it had two of these uh, IBM KVM switches there and we uh, were putting in cables for all of the servers but three of those cables were what was that three hundred dollars they were bloody expensive um, so we kind of gave up on that and just stopped using it and it's so much cheaper to just have a, a, a keyboard and mouse and move that around when you need it of course if you want remote support you might need it together with a, um, a box like this that you can actually hook up on your network and control through an IP number so these two together I must say uh, a company called Raitain I've seen they have some really smart boxes that can do all of this and probably even more um, and I do also believe that a bigger box than this uh, bottom one was available with this functionality built in okay these connections uh, come in different sorts these two are oh, these two are Hewlett Packard ones it's not that long but that might be good for what you're doing if it just has to sit behind the server that might be the best place for it then there is a very nice and long USB that should be able to um, go all the other way to the server um, cool and then there is two other they are not branded so there there's some other brand not sure doesn't matter but they have a little connection here instead and they have a longer cable so the VGA connection can go in there and this can go in and probably be laying around in the cable management arm and connect there and there was two of those as well so these are okay the ones that I was using uh, with the double connections are really smart if you want to connect a lot of servers in your data center to this KVM switch and I'm not totally dishing it you might be in a location where it's a good thing to have that there might be a reason for not using the management network in your server and this option is definitely not hackable so that might be a good thing so yeah so thank you very much to Robin for sending me this but you really shouldn't have <laughs> because I already have one and it's also broken and I took them down from my data center here because the cabling was bad I had to um, do the cables on them and it was just even more a mess behind the servers than it already is running all those cables is like running another switch cables to each of your server and and there's not a lot of room so I took that down and then I just walked behind there and I switch over the cables and all of my servers already had that management port so well the cable goes there anyway but this one goes in the regular switch so that's a plus so yeah I really love getting packages so thank you Robin if anyone really wants to send me something I really recommend asking me if I want this thing because um, I don't want you to waste your money I could easily have done this video with just one KVM switch no problem whatsoever so 
yeah, it doesn't make great sense to uh, use a fortune on shipping um, if I don't need it or don't want it or I already have it. So, um, but thank you very much. We got to have a little chat about KVM switches and I hope you enjoyed this anyway. Please leave a like in the, in the video thinky down here. It, uh, I'm told that it helps and there is also that bell thinky. Uh, yeah, they turn this around on me. It's down there. It's down there. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.